see, we got a apple pottery pea. Oh, look at that on the bottom. What is that about? Hold the fork. I love finding a treasure. It just gets my blood pumping. This is the store that the cart just likes to get a mind of its own and keep rolling. This is going to be a good shopping trip. He's literally bringing stuff out to the shelf right behind me and I'm snagging it as he brings it out. Well, it's still daylight and I'm getting the Goodwill. And I am at a store, ah, I haven't been here for weeks, so it'll be interesting to see what's on the shelves. It's funny, the Goodwill merchandise moves pretty rapidly, so I can go to a store literally two, three days after I've been there, there'll be all new things. I mean, there'll be some that are still there, but uh, then when I don't go to a place for like weeks and weeks, it's like this whole big treasure hunting experience that I absolutely love. So. Why am I sitting here blabbering? I need to get inside and see what goodies are on the shelves for resale. Let's get shop done. Okay. First things first. Choices, choices. Let's go for this one right here on the end. Ooh, it's got a smooth ride to it. Let's go. New color is purple. All right, little wedding figures this caught my eye up here only because it reminds me of a piece of pottery i picked up recently but that is the top and it has a bottom to it i'm sure somewhere little santa this is an interesting i think it's supposed to be some kind of an instrument the strings are broken oh little dragonfly youngstown metalworks 3.99 what would you put in there what could you keep in there with the little dragonfly guy? I don't know. I like him and he's cool because he can go like out on a patio because he's metal. He can endure the weather and he's $3.99 and we're going to grab him. And we got some, looks like uh, little Thailand dancers and then a little Gofen uh, Asian doll. Now she has some age on her. I can tell that by, look at her face. Pretty nice quality, but it's not really the type of thing that I sell, so I will leave her and I will snag this because it goes with a piece I already have. I know it's ten dollars, but I'm buying it for myself, so that's okay. We'll look through the dolls real quick. Who are you? That's George Bush. Oh my goodness. How much are you, George Bush? $3.99. I don't know. I don't know about you. It's kind of funny though. See, we got a apple pottery pea. Oh, look at that on the bottom. What is that about? Hold the fort. Why does it have that on the bottom? But it's not on the inside. I'm confused. I'm confused. Anybody know what that's about? Let me know in the comments. It, uh, it doesn't make sense to me. That's a cute little tray, but it's very modern. These should be a Fenton. Yep, they sure are. But unfortunately, they're just not worth a whole bunch as they are collector plates and collector plate market is really, really down. You think they'll ever come back? Well, let's take a little opinion poll down in the comments. Will collector plates make a comeback? Give me a yes or a no down there. I'm looking at what would you put on this? Like, I'm sure some figurine went on this, but what could it be used for now? You know what? I feel like I have some little seals and stuff that would find a happy home on that. I just don't know if I want to pay $5 for it. If it wasn't five, I might have picked it up. This looks old, a little old ashtray here. Is something missing because he's not even quite leaning on that barrel. There's quite a bit of space in there. $4.99. Hmm. Yeah, that one's not tickling my fancy too much. The willow tree, $7.99. Also, at that price, just not enticing enough. 
Let's see, little bunnies for two ninety nine. Hmm. Don't think they have a name. I don't want to peel that off to find out either. Even if they had a name, they're probably still only like an eight to ten. I see some otters up here. Precious cargo. It is numbered. Now this is the kind of thing I really love to pick up. Joe. What does it say? Hmm. Stock Bowers? I don't see a price on it. I'm sure it's probably red tagged. Let me pull it down here and oh it's green tagged and it's only $14.99. <gasps> Score! Okay, that very much excites me. I love that piece. It's a quality piece. $7.99 on that piece. I love finding a treasure. It just gets my blood pumping. And that just makes me want to keep going. Look at those little angels. They're made out of hymnals. Oh, those are really sweet. Let's see. You are $9.99. But that is such a unique item. I absolutely love these so much. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That is great. I am going to pick these up for $9.99. This is the store that the cart just likes to get a mind of its own and keep rolling. It did stop eventually. It's an interesting glass. These have a nice iridescence to them. $8 each. These are pretty too. We got to look for bargains and deals that are good for resale. I just realized I skipped a whole shelf because my cart was running away and I chased it and I have to go back and look at another uh, shelf. This is Avon, I'm pretty sure, because these were sold back in the days when I sold Avon. Yep, 1990. And back in the day, they were really, really highly collectible. I'm not so sure what the market's doing now. Oh, little calendar, but it's missing one of its little calendar pieces there. We got more Avon and other tankards. Must have been somebody's tankard collection. This is a pretty piece of ruby red for $7.99. Mm, that's really, really a pretty, pretty piece, but I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to go back over to the shelf and see what I missed because I saw this shell. And I never went back and looked at it. Oh, it's a wall hanging, wall pocket kind of dealy with no price. So you know what? We're going to put it in the cart and find out how much it is. These are kind of cool. $5.99. It says 1978 on the bottom. FTD. So they are FTD 1978 little guys and here's a Benihana yes it is a little Benihana tiki mug for $5.99 looks like he's well now there's no place for him to have like a pole or anything that he's holding I'm not sure about that one hmm Delft are you Delft I bet you are it says Holland yes it is so for $3.99 I'm going to pick up the little Delft pitcher as long as there's no damage. I don't see any. Yes, indeed. Let's see what's back there. I see some little metal pieces in here. There's... Where are you? I'm not even sure what you are. And then there's a little carousel horse. And there's a little kitty cat ring holder. Unfortunately, it's a $7.99 baggie. So we'll leave that one. Now I wonder, this one says Tropicana. I wonder if they're all Tropicana. How much are you? $7.99. Mm. Gonna pass. These are Omnibus by Fitz and Floyd, $3.99. Oh, and there's another one back there. Oh, this one has a really bad chip. So let's see if this one's in good condition. This one's okay. All right, we're going to get the Omnibus by Fitz and Floyd. And another baggie back here that's stuffed full of stuff, including little Lucky Cats, a frog. That's a Occupied Japan figurine. 
And that one's $8.99, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like 12 things in here that are really good saleable items. So we're gonna pick this one up. And then there's another shell right here. I just almost walked past, and it is also Fitz and Floyd. It is $5.99. Oh, now darn it. Okay, I can't resell it, but do I want this in my own little display? I think I still do because I will display it around all of my aquariums and it will add in nicely and that way I still get to keep it from the landfill and give it a, a good little home. There is a crackle glass. Oh, somebody's dropping stuff over there. Crackle glass apple. Look at that. For $3.99, I think we will get the crackle glass apple. Boy, I'm only on the first shelf, and I swear I could go home happy right now. But we're not done. We're going to keep looking. I just pulled this basket off the top shelf. Now, normally I don't like spending 10 bucks on a basket, but there is something about this that's just really stunning. And it's so nicely done. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it. I'm going to pay up. Look at this pretty little guy hanging here on the end cap. Not quite sure who makes him. It says W-O-F-S. And he's got a little tassel. He's $4.99. You know, I am a sucker for a pretty bird. And then right next to the bird is this old marionette. Now it's the strings have broken, but it is purple. So that makes it just $4. And I bet a little TLC and she would be good as new and worth a lot more than $4. I just watched him bring this really nice item out to the shelf. It is a little Japanese lacquer box. It is $7.99. This does appear to be antique and really, really nice shape and motif. So we're going to go ahead and get that. They stock their shelves a little differently here. It's like they bring like piece by piece out. They don't just pull the cart out. What is this guy? Clapida? Hmm. It's a bell. It's $4.99. He's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to grab him too. This is gonna be a good shopping trip. Indeed, indeed. Let's see, let me get down to this little poinsettia leaf. And it does have a couple little chips, but I was looking to see, yep, this is the hobbyist piece version of this Atlantic mold. It's fairly popular around Christmas time as our kitschy Christmas logs with, uh, it's a candle holder, you can see there. Look at the kitsch on that. Oh my goodness, for $3.99, yes. He's literally bringing stuff out to the shelf right behind me and I'm snagging it as he brings it out. $4.99 for this cool coyote. Or is it a wolf? Coyote or wolf? Either way, I'm getting it. Oh, let's see. Nope, not working. This is a large cookie mold. Brown Bag Cookie Art, 1988. These used to be worth a caboodle. I do not know if they've held their market, but this one's quite large, and you could always do something else with it, too. Use it as a little tray. So I think I'll go ahead and get it. All right. This is another old piece. It's brass. It's etched. I don't know a lot about these brass pieces. I would guess this is worth anywhere from $20 to $40. That would be my best guess. But because I don't know a lot and I don't know how to clean this up, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one. I may regret it, but it's okay. I don't need every single thing that is worth money. But I might need a turkey basket. Who makes you? J Import, 1997 for $8.99. Are you chipped? You're not chipped. You're pretty fabulous. I must have you in my life. Oh, that looks like it's got some age on it. Just looking at the face and how nicely painted it is. For 
no maker or anything on it. Hmm, let's see. Erasable ceramic place cards. Oh, I guess that's these. Huh. What does it say on the back? It says place tile designs. I guess so you can write the uh, people's names that are coming and sitting at the table. Cute wreath. Closer to Christmas, I may have picked up that wreath. Little handmade basket. It's cute, but not enough resale value. All right, I think we are about done in the seasonal section. These cute little drum napkin holders. Again, cute, but not cute enough to hold on to for months. Let's see what you are. Ooh, you're very cute, but the top doesn't close quite right. Made by Chapman, Grants Pass, Oregon. It's kind of like a handmade piece. I wonder if that's something that could be fixed. Hmm. $7.99. No, you see what's happened? It's split and warped, so that top is just not going to go back on there. That is really a shame because that is a really pretty piece. And I'm a little bummed out. What are you? Hmm. There's kind of another piece back here that's also of that era. There we go. It's Avon Beauty Dust. But look at that. It's got the puff in it. Come on, how can that not be worth something? It's just got to be, right? Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so that is $3.99. And then this piece here is $3.99. And I'm sure this kind of goes with this is glass. You know what? I'm going to rescue them. It's just who I am. I just can't stand it sometimes. Pretty dear. Little pumpkin looks cheaply made. Ooh, what's up here? It's uh, interesting. Those are brass. Those are actually brass on there. The writing roosters. Oh, look at that. It's a Chase Japan. Definitely vintage. $7.99. We will grab that. So much vintage. Cool stuff. It must have been like an estate that. Uh, got dropped off I like I like these but they're not really worth picking up okay just plopping more pieces in here on the shelf Let's see what you are a little tray for $3.99 I can do great things with this I definitely, I know, it's got a little split in the back. I don't even care. I'm doing something with this. And then there's a dolphin, a marquetry dolphin that's really broken. And that's really a shame. He was so pretty. And then this is made out of, um, usually it's water buffalo horn. Unfortunately, his little beak, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Come on, come on, focus. Focus on the beak. There we go. Unfortunately, his little beak is so broken. So we're gonna we're gonna leave him there to find a new home with someone else, hopefully. Lake Las Vegas Resort. Hmm, what's this down here? Spis Shrik Og something. Toxin good for Hiversag, 1962. Bergen Trainer Corporation. Bergen. For $3.99. That seems like it uh, is worth picking up. That's a really, really pretty cross. That's really, really nice. I used to have a wall of crosses. I got most of them at Hobby Lobby when they were like 50% off. I do love beautiful crosses. Mm, $5.99. Yep, 
I think I'm going to get this one. All right, let's see. That's a heavy bowl. Not super old, though. It's this cross. Another cross. This one says Grace. Also, see, came from Hobby Lobby, but see, this would have sold for $7.50 at Hobby Lobby, so I just, I can't justify spending $12.99, because that's just how Hobby Lobby's pricing works. Look at these. These go with my little basket. Oh, look at all that spilled salt in there. I'm looking for any chips. I don't see any. I just see a lot of spilled salt. But wait a minute. They are not salt and pepper. Oh, goodness. He is a candle holder and he is a salt shaker. Oh, darn it. Okay. All right. We're going to leave those for somebody else. Look at this piece that's sitting down here on the floor. Now, I don't think it has a lot of age on it, but it's it's kind of pretty and cool. Candle holder. It's tin. Oh, there's more stuff coming out as we speak. I, I'm grabbing right behind you. Everything that you've put out, I've grabbed. <laughs> like, look at this pretty shell candle. $3.99. I can sell this in the store. I won't ship this in the summer, but fair game in the store. Let's see, what does that say? It's original Lantern Road. Lantern Road. I love it. Armbands. Oh, for swimming. It's this pretty little box. Just a pretty little box. You're purple. It means you're only two dollars. It's a two dollar pretty little box. OMG. Look at him for $3.99. Yes, yes, you're going in the cart. Oh my goodness, there's such great things I got here at just the right time. Bless you. He's interesting. Patronary something? Patronary. I don't know. I don't know. He's not super exciting to me. Okay, I'm going to look at the angel that I had my hand on. She's plastic though. Just trying to figure out why she's uh, covering her eyes. <gasps> Are those vintage? <gasps> oh my goodness. Those would have had little danglies on them. Oh, let's get one down. It's not that heavy. It's kind of on the lightweight side. They are asking 15 on it though. Was that 15 for the pair or 15 each? I can tell 15 because they have it written in Sharpie on the bottom. <gasps> Don't knock that down, Danny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 15 each. That's too bad because those are kind of amazing. And they're red tags, so they're not going to go on sale on Wednesday. Oh, look at these little candle holders. They look like metal, but I do believe they're ceramic. I do believe they are. Look at these little chairs. Now, are these like to hold? Are these candle holder chairs? Look at, there's three of them. Hmm. I can't get too carried away here now. I'm I'm loading up my cart very, very fast. Ooh, that is a hook for a sign. And then potentially it could hold like a birdhouse. $5.99. You know, I, I don't know. What do I do? I love, I don't, I don't like that there's little chains hanging down. I'm like, what would I hang from those? What would I do? My th thinking is that I would hang maybe some other bird feeders off of it okay i'm gonna get it and figure out what to do with it little dancing glass dolphins well hello little glass dolphins for 3.99 yeah i think i like you for 3.99 pray big worry small are you a canister or are you a candle looks like a candle yep Ooh, smells very powerful. Very powerful. To take your worries away. Let's see. What else we got? Hmm, coming back up to look at this a little closer. Made in India. Okay. Oh, those are interesting. 
second oh these were trophies 1974 $8 PYC I don't know PYC now we've got more little monogrammed pieces over here oh look now he's bringing like a whole tea set <laughs> Unfortunately, we got some broken pieces there. Yeah, that handle came off of there. We'll put that in there for him. Too bad. Look at the moon. I'm going to have to do a second pass to see what I might have missed that he already put in other places. The moon is $14.99. He's nice, but I think I probably could get, you know, $25.30 for him. And then there's this guy. I wish he wasn't so scratched up because he's pretty spectacular. How much are you? You're also red tagged at $7.99. Kind of cool though. Kind of cool. Oh, I just saw him put something else over on the shelf where I've already been. But look at this. What is this? What would you do with that? It's, I mean, it's a big arrow. It's a big, humongous arrow. But is it meant to hold something? Or is it just meant just to be a big decorative arrow? I kind of like it. This is what he just brought out. They're like little bricks. They say Book of Mormon on them. Hmm, interesting. I really hate to do this, but this was such an epic shopping trip. I must split it into two parts. There is just too much to show you. So I hope you will come back and see, did I pick up that arrow? What is it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But the way to know when that next video goes up is to make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification. I do put up content every single day. So I hope you will come back, leave a comment, a little thumbs up if you liked what you saw, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Now, stay tuned for the recap of the things that were in this video. Uh, that is everything that I bought, how much I paid, and what it's worth. And then come back tomorrow to see a complete recap of everything. All right, here comes that recap.
did not mean to do that. <laughs> that is uh, about 300 bucks worth of stuff. Now, as of this, I haven't actually seen the recap. You've seen the recap. You see how much I'm going to turn this into. What an incredible score tonight. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, color me happy. You know what would make me happier? Is if you hit that subscribe button. That would make me happy too. It's free. It costs nothing. And I really, really appreciate it. It tells YouTube that you like what you're seeing and that you want to see more of it. I upload daily content. So, uh, I film everything I buy. And uh, again, as I said, if you would like to purchase something from this haul, please send me an email. Instructions are right there down in the description of this video. So, now I gotta go and I gotta get all this stuff processed in, cleaned up, and hopefully shipped out. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.